Greetings, internetizens. This is Elmelkin playing Professor Item in the Curious Village. In the last episode, I explored the abbot of the tower. I found Pavel the tourist and Martha the creepy card lady again, and I seem to have unlocked another bonus thing. Now, what is this? More number puzzles? Missing number. Oh, it's missing now. <laughs> the numbers will follow a certain rule. What is this? Okay, it can't be if the numbers are prime or not. <laughs> like number of denominators, it's not that. It's not the number of strokes you need to write the number, or the number of consonant-based letters in it. No, not the number of syllables either. One, two, three, four, five, six. I don't get it. Maybe I'll get a hint if I try. Well, here's my guess. What is this even? Oh, I was sure I had. The numbers are aligned according to a certain principle. What does that mean? The answer is in the back. Split it somehow. That would mean another one. If it had to have the same the same sum. I think I've got it. What am I even I doing it. with this? Yes. End of one year? What the heck? It's not math? Oh, it's American! That's also confusing. The dates are backwards. And a die. A 
A young boy sits quietly on a stoop, rolling a single die over and over. Each time the die stops rolling, he picks it up, examines it, and tells the DM uh, that he rolled the best number ever. Uh, no, he whispers something to himself. Each time he rolls a 1, he whispers 15. Each time he gets a 6, he whispers 20. What is this? How does this sound? Oh, it is third edition. Legends Apprentice saves the day. The number of dots currently visible on the die. Plus X, so yes, it's basically straight edition. Red and blue, what was it? The swappy thingy? It's the swappy thingy. In the correct order. I've solved it! 
I could do it eventually. Let's continue the game now. The game takes us to the tower. We learned the truth about everyone being a robot. And it's getting spooky here. What's in the windows? Do you suppose we're near the top yet? Yes, but it seems that we have another puzzle in the way before we get there. Seven squares? What is that? Draw lines between the pins on this board to form seven squares. They do not have to be uniform in size, but you can only use each pin once. Well... This is a square. So that counts as reusing the pins.
Well, somehow, I think I might have done it. Somehow. Well, here's my guess. I did it! Yes! Yeah, lots of tilted squares. Now we're free to keep climbing. You know, it's very odd how this tower is simply huge, yet there's almost nothing inside of it. Yes, quite. Other than Bruno's room in the basement, the whole place is rather bare. What, are we expecting some more monsters? I mean, some monsters at all? Perhaps that is why Bruno's machines make such a racket. This tower is like a giant megaphone. But why would anyone want to construct such a big purposeless tower, Professor? Maybe to scare people away. It's exhausting to climb this thing. Ha! Ah, did you ever consider that this tower might have been built for the express purpose of exhausting us? This is just another one of the many trials that have been set out for seekers of the Golden Apple. Gosh, that makes perfect sense. Maybe that's also why the tower looks so scary on the outside. Yeah. Let's move on. This floor doesn't appear to have any puzzles set up for us. Maybe there's a trap. So if we climb this spiral staircase, maybe... We'll reach the top floor. I think you might be right, my boy. Come, let's hurry. Whoa. Something around that candle? Hey, there could be a coin or a secret puzzle. Oh, it was a coin. Oh my gosh! That looks like a church, kind of. Our view was obscured from the ground, but who would have suspected a charming cottage like this here? Look, the lights are on, Professor. It would appear that someone is living here. Is the apple a person? Sure. This looks like an old return point. And surely I'm missing some puzzles.
I think I've explored the whole town, followed all the hoofs and it was all coins. Uh, this wasn't a puzzle. Uh, I mean, this was a puzzle I'd already solved. Let's ascend. Like gold! It's all coins! I guess. What kind of person would live in a place like this? A med scientist, of course. Well, unbelievable. Just look at this room. The stuff in here has to be worth gazillions. Maybe a med noble. This must be the top floor that Bruno spoke of. So we might be standing in the same room as the golden apple at this very moment? I've been waiting for you to... Ooh, spindly legs. A skirt. It, it's you! What was that crunchy noise when she moved her glasses? Yeah, I mean... What's this? What's going on here? Hey, it's Flora, I guess. My boy, what you see here is the golden apple herself. The apple is a girl? You? With a golden apple? Professor, you knew about this? I had an inkling. Don't you see how genius it is, though? The Baron didn't try the will to find the successor to his fortune. His true aim was to find a worthy guardian for his daughter. And he was willing to put his whole fortune on the line to do so. Yes. My name is Flor. I've been waiting here in the tower for so long. Were you locked up in here the whole time? Oh no. But before Papa passed, he told me that I should wait here until someone from outside San Mister came for me. Papa said that whoever came for me would be someone I could trust with my wife. S so that's why you kept watching us move about time. Ah, uh, what was that? What's going on? <sighs> hmm? Oh! It looks like something Bowser would come up with. Or Eggman. Boss fight? Rocket. Ah, follow me. Come now. Follow me. 
We must evacuate this tower immediately. What now? The determined stride. The blank stare. What are we going to do? I've got it. Just wait a moment, Flora. And the tower collapses. Hope it doesn't destroy the town. Not well, I suppose a crazy person has destroyed the tower. <laughs> but who will repair these people now? Is Bruno alive? <laughs> His web has been destroyed, probably. The slab was in the basement. Professor, that Paolo's flying contraption was something else. I really thought we were done for back there. Yes, it was quite dodgy. But he also provided us with the answer to one of our ongoing mysteries. Do you remember that awful noise we heard the first time we visited Reinhold Manor? 
the one that spooked the one that spooked Claudia. Oh, so that must have been the noise. We've put it together. The racket was likely Don Paolo's contraption making a crash landing. That's why he was covered in smoke. If that's the case, then we now know the approximate time of Don Paolo's entrance into San Mister. That makes perfect sense. It fears that then that Franco would have noticed Don Paolo's wouldn't have noticed Don Paolo's entrance. So if Flora is the golden apple that everyone's been looking for, it means the threshing that Lady Dahlia and the others were chasing never existed in the first place. No, I'm fairly certain they weren't mistaken. I do believe a fortune is hidden somewhere within this town. But the Baron would need to hide it somewhere only the golden apple would know to. You mean that Flora knows where the treasure is hidden? I'm sorry, but I don't know anything about a treasure or anything like that. Let's head back to Rheinwald Manor one more time. I suspect we'll clear everything up there. Maybe it's in the library that we weren't allowed in. Wait, the golden apple isn't sold? Professor, do you really think the treasure could be located here? Look closely at this painting, look. I'm sure it holds the key to the Reinhold fortune. But I've already looked at it. If we solve this mystery, look, I'm certain we'll come face to face with the Reinhold treasure. Touch the painting where the golden apple is hidden. I think it was somewhere around here? I remember now, it's right here! Aha! A hidden switch! The switch seems to have activated the wall. Reinhold Manor held the, the secret behind this painting all along. Oh, maybe there wasn't an obvious library room. I just assumed there was and that I wasn't allowed to go there. But it was hidden behind the, the bookshelf wall. Near to the painting door. It looks like there's a passage that leads further in. Oh. Let's see where this passage goes. That's a lot of gold! And some kind of mechanism, that's probably for moving the wall. Oh my goodness, look at this place. I had no idea. Now how in the world did you know that the switch was hidden in the painting? Listen closely, look. Wisdom wasn't the only thing Baron Reinhold required of potential guardians for his only daughter. You saw it too, didn't you? The peculiar mark on her neck that only appeared once she laughed. Oh, so you need a sense of humor? In other words, Baron Reinhold set out one last requirement for the potential inheritor to his fortune. He wanted someone who could make Flora smile again after losing those dear to her. And that was achieved by getting her into a very stressful situation and then letting her experience early. <laughs> you don't have to be a good person to make someone laugh. To that person and that person only would Baron Yango reveal the location of his actual fortune. That's unbelievable, Professor, but it all makes sense now. Flora, my little Flora. 
Where's that voice coming from? For I will made it here at last. That voice. Papa, is that you? Papa. My dear Flora, has the village watched over you as I would have? I built Saint Mister for you, so that you would never have to know true loneliness. Well, to be fair, Bruno did the actual building, and that's beside the point. In any case, if you've come this far, I suppose it's safe to assume my plan was a success. My greatest regret is that I'm not there to see you become a young woman. But please know that I want nothing more than for you to be happy. Whether the person by your side right now can give you that or not is up to you, I suppose. And to you who have found your way to my daughter's side, you have my heartiest congratulations. If you could make it through the barrage of puzzles I set before you, I imagine a person of your abilities has already caught on. But allow me to reveal Saint Mister's secret. The, the secret of Saint Mister? Recently I was told by my physician that I don't have much time left on this earth. I can come to terms with dying, but the thought of leaving my only child alone in the world torments me. This is why I have commissioned Bruno to construct Saint Mister. At least this way she'll be safe and protected until she's old enough to venture to the outside world. Streets and buildings are the bones of a village, but its heart is the people who live in it. This is why I asked Bruno to create all the villagers here, as well as all the puzzles hidden within them. I've asked Matthew to make news of my death public, Flora has grown past childhood. So, stranger, how does my beautiful flower look now? I imagine she's blossoming into adulthood. Wait, when did he die? Was it kept secret all this time? Equally important to me is finding someone to whom I can entrust both my daughter and my fortune. This is why the inhabitants of Saint Mister are constantly testing the knowledge of the visitor. If you've made it this far, it must mean that you possess both wisdom and dedication to my daughter. I'm confident that you will take good care of my future and Flora. This is why everything in this room, the whole of my fortune, belongs to you now. When you remove it from here, Saint Mister will complete the objective for which it was created. I imagine the inhabitants will fall into a deep sleep from which they are never to awaken. At least they don't enter crash till destroy mode. Now, wait just a minute. Is he saying that if we take the treasure, all of Saint Mister will just disappear? I honestly don't know the answer to that good question. But it's possible that Saint Mister is designed to shut down the instant we lay a hand on the treasure. So if that happens, everyone will just stop? Just like puppets with their strings cut? I leave it to you, brave traveler. Draw the curtains on Saint Mister and lay this lifeless village to rest. Above all else, take care of my precious daughter. She is in your hands now. Oh, Papa. I can't believe it. If we even touch the treasure, all of Saint Mister will just grind to a halt. Flora, by right, this inheritance belongs to you. You should be the one to decide what's done with it. I don't want it. But why ever not, my dear? 
the people who live here have been with me for so long. Curious as this village is, it's watched me grow up. I won't send Mister my village to stay just as it is forever. I see. Then so sh it shall be. But what of you, Flora? Will you stay here with your village? I, I. What now? Are you sure this is quite all right, madam? Certainly. If leaving will make Flora happy, I'd like nothing more than to see her off with a smile. that was, Professor Layton. Does this mean you'll be gracing the front page of the London Times again sometime soon? No, Luke. St. Mastel's secret must stay between us. Huh? Why do you say that? You see, my dear boy, we don't want people to make a spectacle of Flora. That wouldn't be right. Of course. Always thinking of others. Hey, Flora isn't the one who'd been dismantled. Well, one must always put a lady's needs first. That's what a gentleman does. <laughs> oh, I suppose the Japanese use the backwards uh, date format as well. Cows and sheep, hills in the distance.
What's that name? I said that in the middle. Flying things, some bandages. Maybe that was supposed to be something attached to a wall. are in western order Raccoons were streaming the sound. But do I get any bonuses? Oh, to be continued. Of course, it is continued. There's more games. So we've reached the story's end. Professor Layton and the curious village is far from over. How many puzzles did you solve? <laughs> yeah, I missed some. Check the bonuses section. Apple's house, obviously. Too many queens! More chess! More MS paint for me? Well, 
Boys, eight queens. Don't let any piece block another line of movement. I think I've got it. These coordinates examining the coordinates again. a big chessboard and you can rotate and mirror it of course there are only 12 answers and another scale puzzle hmm. 12 weights that are visually identical to one another among these is a single weight that has a different weight from the others. You don't know whether this weight is heavier or lighter than the others.
but it doesn't really make... I don't know. Let's use a hint. There's one definitive way to solve this puzzle. Start putting four weights on each side. Oh! What now? I'm not sure what to do. Did it say four weights on either side? Yeah, four weights on each side. Nope. That, that, that wasn't intended. I clicked the wrong button. Nope. I, I keep clicking the restart button instead of uh, the scale button. None of these four! I think I've got it! How? I did it! Yes! Oh yeah! <sighs> now there's a... Princess in the books again. Donkey puzzle, but it's a princess. Well, here's 
<sighs> Professor, I've solved it. Silent puzzle. Now let's check if there's stuff in the puzzle house or something. There probably won't be anything in the puzzle house. Maybe I'll get some wolves that I didn't get before. Yes. <laughs>